Hello guys, uh, today I am going to show you uh, the next video tutorial of uh, e-commerce project and in this project I am going to uh, do some scaffoldings related to your models. So first of all uh, use category model and uh, prepare a controller views um, on the basis of the categories and also uh, doing some other uh, controllers like uh, books controller and author controller and many more uh, which is remaining okay so let's see and uh, you can also you can also create in your computer okay so this this is the default uh, scaffolding that is basis on independent unit like a category is not dependent in any other but, but book is dependent on the bo book author okay so book author is not dependent so just you can you uh, you can add a new controller uh, for the book author okay and just go to the controller and uh, select all views using entity framework core and uh, select a book author from the context menu as a model oops oops and book author book author yeah and uh, successfully created guys you know that uh, e-commerce website actually mm, you know that e-commerce website uh, in the e-commerce website you accept a payment online so the serves must be PCI and DSS compliant it also important to ensure data security through uh, secure servers also e-commerce website choose scalability choose uh, servers that and adapt to your business need this means your website doesn't uh, go down due to an overload in traffic uh, up to accommodate increased traffic during peak season or uh, or an offer as well and optimize the cost so must to use uh, authorize attribute uh, so authorize with the roles attribute because that uh, authorize attribute provide security to the projects also uh, lots of things we can add in the e-commerce project like speed your server should have the capacity to deliver good website speed this is also dependent on the internet connection speed for your server so check uh, that too uh, providing good speed is vital as not only do customer have little patience for the website that leads slowly but search engine also ranks slow loading websites poorly so that that's fine so that is the concern for later session I will discuss on the speed but uh, today I am going to discuss about the authorization attributes and the role of the concerns uh, that is the security okay so uh, you can add all these uh, all roles just before your controller names like the books controller just before add the roles um, for the admin and you know that in the db initializer class we have a uh, already added admin in the page so just you can check your page on your browser I'm going to discuss about the authorization and uh, authentication in, in the later video session but e-commerce website testing is also must to do in uh, in the point of visitor and the customer in the point of functionality in the point of security because you know that e-commerce website security is vital not just on the payment page where customers share sensitive information like card details and the address but also throughout the rest of the website a secure website increase trust in users okay so uh, that page is actually built for the admin so only admin can uh, edit and delete those uh, books like uh, um, admin can add the new bookstore admin can add new books admin can add uh, author details so these are all related to the admins okay guys so the security point of uh, is more bad, uh, more importance 
also performance and the discoverability is also important to ensure the website load time is not too long catch broken links check the seo ranking in the search engines also so in that part is the later session i will discuss it but uh, add more few links in the uh, layout.cshtml file like the categories and you know that in the asp controller we can add uh, categories controller and uh, asp action method is the index as usual the same but these categories are only accessed by the admin so must to add uh, first of all add another category sorry another uh, li uh, hyperlink or uh, the action link like uh, book and in the asp controller you can the name is books okay so uh, more important to add some links and uh, those links are accessed only by the admin um, for the security point of view so you can add if attribute and uh, in which you can pass user is is in role and the role is the admin also you can use add the red symbol user dot is in role like that is in role and in which you can pass admin role okay so these are uh, default links and only accessed by the admin there are lots of roles in e-commerce project and uh, you know that while e-commerce present expensive growth opportunities it require human resource and infrastructure that differ from the traditional brick and the mortar or the wholesale businesses So uh, there are the key roles of uh, of the e-commerce website, in which we have only the one uh, role that is the admin role. But uh, e-commerce website have uh, lots of key roles like the director of e-commerce, web developer, digital operations manager, IT technicians, uh, logistics managers, inventory management, and the team of inventory accessories, digital marketing manager, customer service representative. finance and the accounting and the business analysis there are the lots of roles uh, available in uh, e-commerce project but uh, today i am only focused on the admin or you can say administrator so just change in the db initializer you uh, you can change some um, email and the passwords and assign that user as a admin role into the database table and after that login into the system and you can check all three links visible in the navigation bar when you entered into the system as a admin role so just copy that uh, link uh, copy that email and uh, enter into the system uh, to put password into the text box okay you can see the book store categories and the books visible when you log in or entered into the system so just again you have to check click on the login button and you will see the output looking like that your navigation bar filled with some other categories like book store categories and books so first of all enter some books uh, book store name like the first book store second book store third book store that is the temporary data you have to enter into the project the name the second book store name is second book store as usual okay so book store is finished so when you entered uh, some books uh, then you you got the book store names 
and the category name is web developer mobile developer desktop application developer app application web applications so these are the categories related to the books like the programming category like the uh, so uh, lots of uh, things you you can done it into the project so these are the categories desktop application mobile application and uh, programming and the designing ux designing and asp.net core you, you can enter as a category thank you guys for watching this video